Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography. Today we are inside Darktable 4.0 and we are going to deal with this image. Now what I want to do to this image is to convert it to a black and white and hopefully get some drama in there and uh, some more details. Now this image was shot with a mobile phone. I didn't have my camera. Uh, so it's not the best uh, details, not the best contrast, not the best anything, to be honest. So, yeah, it is what it is. And we are going to try and do something with this image. And this will be a good exercise for me to see what I can cram out of my mobile phone, just for fun. Uh, the format of this image is a TIFF file. And yeah, it doesn't look the best. It's not really that interesting. Uh, the location is the troll wall in Norway. Uh, it, the mountains might not look uh, all that big, but they are really big. Believe me, it, they are really tall. And uh, this is a popular location for both climbing and uh, sports like uh, space jumps, paragliding, stuff like that. So yeah, and there's been quite a few people that have died in these mountains. But anyway, let's just get started. So the first thing I want to do here, uh, first thing I would do normally is to change the exposure, exposure, but I think the exposure is probably fine. So we are going to filmic and I'm just going to hit the auto tune levels. And yeah, do I like that? Yeah, I think I like that. So that's good. It's a good start. Uh, the second thing I want to do is to go to color calibration. And now this is a TIFF file, so it won't look like it normally does in here. Uh, but I don't care. What we are going to do is to go into the blue channel and I'm just going to play around with that. And what I'm hoping to do is to bring out some drama. Uh, so let's just play around with it and maybe stop around there. Let's go into the reds and I want to do the same there. So just playing with the red channel. And I think maybe around there. Let's see the greens. So when processing black and white, I recommend that you process the image as you would in color first and then convert it to black and white. Let's see the greens here. Yeah, so this is more magenta-ish. So I want to be around there, I guess. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, something like that. Now we can go into colorfulness and play around with that. So if I go up on the blues. Yeah, that looks kind of nice, actually. Let's do the same with the greens. Yeah. Reds. Yeah, something like that. And I want to drop the blues just a bit. Maybe go up on the red. The greens. So this is without color calibration and this is with color calibration. So that's really, really nice. Now let's go into color balance RGB and I'm going to pull up the global vibrance and global chroma, maybe some in the shadows. And just for fun, we are doing global saturation as well. And yeah, 
that kind of works. All right. And then global vibrance. Let's play around with that. Yeah, something like that. All right, so that's it so far. We have a fringe over here. Maybe we can solve that later. For now, I'm just going into color zones and I'm going to use one of the presets there for black and white. But you can drop the preset entirely and just pull down this line under saturation, pull it down all the way but for now, I'm going to use a preset, so black and white film. I'm not sure I like that, so black and white and skin tones. Nah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> Let's do black and white film and go into lightness and try to adjust this one just a bit there. So I want to pull down on the blues bit something like that yeah just playing around with that slider just to get some uh, contrast all right so let's head back to filmic and into look and let's just add some contrast And I guess something like that. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Let's just see where we started. So we started here. Then we did some work with the colors. Ended up here. And now we are at the filmic. So quite a difference actually. Let's go back there. Take a snapshot. So from here to here, and I kind of think it looks nice, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, we could maybe add some local contrast. Uh, let's do that with diffuse and sharpen. And just use a preset there, add local contrast, and let's see. So, yeah, I think that looks good. Let's go into correct tab, and I'm just going to do the denoise. So let's remove that. Let's try chromatic aberration. Yes, haze removal. So there's no haze in this image, uh, but the haze removal will bring out some more contrast. So especially in the sky. So I'm going to leave that and I think that's it. We could drop a wing net, but I don't think that's necessary on this image. So yeah, this is uh, the black and white and I'm pretty happy with it and the next things I will do is some dodge and burn so let's just do that really quickly here so I'm going to bring up a new instance of the exposure and just pull that up a bit that's far too much maybe around there Yeah, that's fine. Let's do a brush and hold down the control key on my keyboard and bring that brush up. And we can change the feather. Let's just draw that in. So 
this is a process that takes a while to do but it's totally worth it uh dodge and burn i think is uh, really important for landscape photos uh, so you should absolutely spend some time doing this at least if you want contrast in your images uh, so basically what you're doing is to try and brighten the parts that are already sort of bright and uh, next to the parts that are uh, already dark and then you go in and darken the parts that are close to the real brights and that will create some really interesting and nice contrast so to me it's important to do especially in an image like this then you should absolutely spend some time doing this process and yeah so this is without the dodge layer and this is with the dodge so you can clearly see what it does and it already makes it look a lot better in my opinion so there are places that I need to do some more. Now we are crushing the blacks a bit in this image. Uh, but as this image is meant for screen and not print, I don't care about it, to be honest. Uh, we can crush a bit when it's for uh, screen and not prints if it were for prints uh, we should absolutely try to avoid crushing the blacks or clipping the blacks or whatever you prefer to call it all right so this is without the dodge layer and this is with the dodge layer let's create a new instance of exposure and i'm just gonna drop the exposure a bit not too much. Just a bit more. Yeah, something like that. And the same again, go into the brush, hold down the control key and click on the brush there. If you don't hold down the control key, you can only sort of paint one point. And it's the same. Just go around and paint in on the parts that you think should be dark. Just make that part darker. And if it turns out to be too dark, you can always adjust the exposure. So I think we got something interesting now. Uh, let's just go around and do just a little bit more. And let's see. So this is without the burn layer darkening. And this is with the darkening. So. As you can see, there's a clear difference and I sort of like that, but I'm thinking maybe we are darkening too much. Uh, let's go into the filmic and try and adjust the black here. So something like that, maybe. And let's go back into color balance RGB. And I'm just going to pull up that global vibrance. Brilliance, I mean. Maybe the shadows as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. Uh, it's fairly okay. It's not fantastic, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, 
it's from a mobile camera and that's a really low budget mobile i think it's samsung a03 or something like that so uh, not the best camera for mobiles to be honest it's uh, pretty terrible but we were able to really create some drama some uh, punch in this image uh, and i don't want to <laughs> compare myself to ansel adams but uh, yeah i think uh, this is uh, sort of or at least i was inspired by Ad ansel adams in this image i wanted to try and do something in his spirit if you want to call it that uh, and Again, this is not me comparing to Ansel Adams, but this is an image uh, that has a lot of inspiration picked up from Ansel Adams' work. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for this video. If you like it, hit that like button. If you want to watch more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Maybe even click that bell. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.